The next category I want to talk about are the measuring tools. So I want to show you the different measuring tools that are available to you. Um, um, first one I'm going to show you is the seam gauge. So this is called the seam gauge and this little apparatus in the middle, it allows you to do repeated markings on things because it, between this point and this point, you're able to see like an exact measurement. So this thing should be fitting fairly tight. If, if you hold it like this and this kind of falls down without touching it, it is too loose. So, um, so if I put that one at one inch, for example, then I see these two points right here. Um, then I can measure like buttonholes on the front of a shirt that are exactly the same measurement by using the seam gauge. Okay, the uh, uh, the next one I want to talk about is the measuring tape. Notice how the measuring tape is very soft, and it is pliable. Um, it makes it really easy to do body measurements. So the main thing that we do with the measuring tape is we take body measurements because it can wrap around your body very easily. You can also measure a lot of other things, but the main reason why it's soft and pliable is for the body, to wrap it around the body. Okay. Oh, and these are different measuring tapes that I got. The cow, and, his, and it has a button there, and the tail flips up. And this is my chicken. And the chicken has an egg that it lays. So that's the, the cow tail measuring tape and the chicken and the egg. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> okay. Okay, this one is called a grid ruler. If you look at this, the, the grid ruler is really awesome for measuring uh, straight lines onto things that are that the edge is straight. So for example, let's say that I wanted to put a line, a straight line on this hot pad. So I could just, um, each one of these squares equals an inch and then you can see the little lines in between. So like there's a halfway and then a quarter and then a quarter on this side. So you can really quickly measure like an inch measurement by just lining, so I put that an inch over the edge and then I line the edge of my fabric up with this inch line. And if I need it smaller, I, I just use those lines to measure it up really quickly. So if I do an inch, then I can take my measuring pencil and I can just use it to kind of draw that line that needs to be there. So um, these come in different sizes. So here's a smaller one. I have them in even smaller ones in the classroom we will be using to cut out the hot pad.